hello everyone welcome to my channel kimba's crafts my name is kim and if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos welcome i hope you enjoy what you hear and see and if you're returning thank you as always for your continued support today we have a small kind of amazon haul slash um sorry i'm trying to get my chair over here because i'm lazy and i don't want to stand the whole time <laughs> and uh, um, a new pen. Okay, so we'll do the pen first. It's not a small shop haul because it's one item, but this is from Leopard Leatherworks, and I've shown you three pens from them so far. This is my fourth pen from this company, and it was really fun because they had a, um, a pen drop live, so I was on the live. If you were there, then you know that I did um, win a pen. And the way they did it was they showed different blanks. And you had to pick a number. Anyone who wanted the pen had to pick a number between one and whatever um, Carrie had chosen. And whoever got closest to it without going over won the blank. And so this is actually not the blank that I won because the blank that I won broke during the turning part um, which happens <clears throat> so she found a few blanks that were similar to that one and she messaged me and she let me choose a different blank and I feel like this well from from the video so she had sent me a video I feel like this is going to match the canvas that I got this for pretty well. So I was still very excited. Um, so I will link all of Leopard Leatherworks. I've, I have, you know, a couple unboxings from them down below. The, the current canvas that I'm working on, Mermaid's Enchantment, I'm using one of their pens, Candy Stripe, with it now. And for this one, I specifically did ask for this one to be a little, a little thin on um, thinner. I I remeasured and I sent. They they show you in a video on their YouTube channel how to measure the circumference of of like your most comfortable pen. So I did measure, remeasure, and um, requested a thinner pen because I do like my pens to be medium. Uh, anything beyond medium, it's just, I can use it, but it's not the most comfortable for me. So we got some Werther's original here. Here is their logo, Leopard Leatherworks. Here's their card. Um, and here is their email. And then they do have a website. But again, they do go live. They'll turn live. Uh, they had this pen drop, this blank live, blank pen drop live. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and then you can tell them, you know, what shape you wanted. All right. I am loving it already. Oh, it is so pretty. So, yes, this is definitely way closer to my preferred circumference. Look how beautiful this is. I'll go a little slower. Sometimes I go a little too quickly. Look at that. Whoops, almost dropped it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. It is gorgeous. It fits perfectly. It is so pretty. And I love this little extra color there. Look at that. I love it. Thank you so much, Carrie. So Leopard Leatherworks, guys, I will put I will put in the um, description below their Facebook. They have a Facebook group. They have a website, and they have a YouTube. Okay, so. 
go check them out. They have great pens. This is my fourth pen from them. So really excited. And then now we are going to get on to the small Amazon haul. Um, I, I just have three packages here. And then I have something on the side there that I want to show you. This, let's see. You know, I love me, I love me my Amazon. Anything I, I, I show you will be linked below in the description box, okay? I will have links for them. All right, these are, now you guys know I'm using a tray tower system. And I got a bunch of trays. 20 trays. Let's make sure they're all here. Two, four. Guys, this was less. These were less than $25. They were about a dollar a tray. So I kept looking and looking and scrolling and scrolling because there were some that were like three of them for $10. So I got 20 of them. I will put a link below. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, I don't like that noise. 12, 14, 16. 18, 20. Perfect. Now, I do have tray towers that I'm currently using. If you watched me kit up in them, then you know that I have, um, let me grab one that's not being used. I had the tray tower that came with these colored ones. These are a little bigger and I felt like a lot of the purple I couldn't use because they're so dark. So I figured I could put these on the bottom, like below the ones that are pushed in. Um, yeah, they work perfectly. And then on the other tray tower that I have that have the small on top and then the large on the bottom, I have kind of like a mix mosh of different trays, different lengths. And then I had to put like squishies behind them so that I could, they would stick out a little more. So I just figured I could swap them all out, make them all match. And I really do like these trays. Uh, the grooves are pretty far apart. They line up very nicely. So I think that these, so for 20 of them, I couldn't pass it up. So Next time I use those tray tower systems, I can um, swap out quite a few of those trays and make them all uniform. That was the idea behind this. So again, I will link this deal below. I don't know how they got these in here. <laughs> how did they fit these in here? Some kind of Hermione's bag magic. Can I do it? I'm trying not to make them squeak because that noise is annoying. Okay, we're just putting this aside. All right, so that is one. And then we have, what do we have in here? Blue dots. So I'm, I'm, why is this open? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I will never know if it was used. There's no way of knowing. Um, so I'm, I was concerned that I was running out of glue dots and I was like, the last thing I want to do is grab my glue dot dispenser and find out that I don't have enough of them um in the middle of a project like I would cry so I said let me get one on the side now I have let me get it this guy this is what I've been using and these are mini I cannot find the mini dispenser 
I, I can find them in a roll, but I can't find the dispenser. I like the dispenser. It's nice. It's neat. It's easy to throw around, um, pass between the two tables, and I, it doesn't unravel. It's just, I like it. So, but I used two of these. So I did a little math. And according to the math, these are equivalent to two of these. So these are, I think, what are they? I think they're, are they six sixteenths? I don't know, but these look awfully big compared to these. Does that look like a, that looks like triple the size. Maybe, maybe my math wasn't mathing, which is fine. It could very well be. I might have to cut this. Maybe I can cut it in half and use one dot for two. I don't know. How many are in here? 200. If that was the case, then I'd get 400 uses. But this is, this is the size of the dot. You can see it. And essentially I got it because I'm terrified of running out of them in the middle of a project and um, then having to use like wax or something to hold me over till I get it. So it's a backup. Um, whether or not it's a good size, I don't know yet. Okay, I got these tabs and I'll show you what I'm doing with those. And I got this, okay. I got all this for this book, but honestly, <laughs> I, I didn't realize how full this book was. So it's not even like I could fit any more pages in this book. Maybe I'll just send this back. I don't know, but I do like the dividers. And then if I kept the dividers, I still might need those though. Okay. We're going to go over this. I'm going to explain to you why I got this book. Isn't this book so cute, though? I'm not exactly sure how. I guess it's like that. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with this book um, after we open this. This, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you that this is how I'm going to keep track of my stash. Um, and I did start it, so I'll show you my idea. Most, I think almost all of the ones that are in here that I started I have unboxed on my channel already. It wasn't done on purpose. It was just, I started with the top shelf and I just happened to ha um, show you guys all of those. So we'll go over that book in a minute, but the big box. If you listen to my most recent whip and chat, then you might know what this is. Um, Cause I mentioned that I went ahead and I'm trying this again and I bought yet again. I have bought, I bought this product before. I, I don't think it's the same product. I mean, the same exact company or whatever, but it's the same product. I don't remember it being in such a big box. Oh. Okay. I got another A2 light pad. I just loved the size of the A2 light pad. Um, and if you guys were with me when I had the A2 light pad, there were certain functions on it that now this one, I wasn't so picky about because I, I put all this time and effort into finding that other A2 light pad and it literally lasted like four to six months. Very disappointing when I've had the A3 light pad on my desk um, for years now. I think I got that back in 2022. So I was very upset and then I tried to, um, because I had it so long, it was I had to deal with the company and then there was like zero way to contact the company on the website. So this one, okay, okay, so this is different. This is definitely different because the other one had nothing on the bottom. This one does have these little dots on the bottom. 
which elevates it a little bit. I like that. Okay, I'm excited. Um, it's a very nice box. Okay. Now, the last one I got had a switch on the the um on the cord and it was that was like something that I really really wanted. I still really love that feature. But like I said, I was not so picky this time. I was more looking at price because I spent like 60 or 70 dollars on that last one and I felt like I'm not doing that again. Um, if this one lasts for a while, then I'll get a second one for my desk so that I have one for each desk. But um, I felt like I'm not spending, this one seems smaller than the last one. Or am I just being greedy? I'm going to plug it in so we can look at it. Now, one of the things that I can't stand, because I, I, I washi after every row, and I always have to move my smaller light pad so that I can have the whole canvas. Let me see. Guys, you're gonna get a sneak peek of Mermaid's Enchantment again. Look, I'm done the third row. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's so gorgeous. Look at her face. Now there is very minimum gapping and stuff. Even in the light drills, look at her face. Oh, I just love this canvas so much. It's so gorgeous. Um, so I kind of like, see, I like how long this is so I could just move it over a little bit. Let's see. Let's plug it in. This is definitely smaller than the last one, I feel like. And I, I thought I did look up the dimensions and it was like, I thought it was like 35 by, well, what is this? Oh, this is 60. So, okay, that makes sense. I thought it was 35 by 53 or something like that. Where's my tape measure? All right, so it's 59, but the actual light part is 55. And then I thought this was like 35. Hmm. 38. Okay. I'm gonna plug it in. So we can check it out. I don't even know. If there's three light settings, I don't even know. Is that it? On and off. Yeah, that's it, on and off. Oh no, you can dim it if you hold it down. There's the dimmest. There's the brightest. Honestly, 
Okay. Well, can we just take a look at the minimum gapping that we have going on here? This is, look at her, this is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm sorry. I get distracted by toys. Okay. Um, which is fine. So the last one that I had, it had three different colors. I don't even, I never use any other color but the first one. So this is perfect. Um, and then I do dim up and down. So, and I can keep it up here where I won't hit it with my hand. It's perfect. It's, a, it's raised. It's not non-skid because the, the, the last one I got, it didn't have stickies on the bottom and I had to buy these. So I pulled these out. These were what I had left over in case I had to put it on the bottom and I don't because there's four grippies on the bottom of this one already. Let me see if I can um, fit. You know how I like to clip my paintings on. Yeah. The clips fit underneath of it because of the footies. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so it's checking all the boxes. All the boxes that I need. Okay, take one last look at this beautiful girl here. All right, guys. So that is my mini Amazon haul. I'm going to show you now how I'm going to keep track of my stash. You're actually going to get a peek of a canvas that I did not show. So this is what I plan on doing. So this is the only canvas in here that um, I haven't shown yet. This is a star ore. It's called Land World by Lands Art. It's a 39 by 52 centimeter round drill diamond painting. And this is all the information that I care about. Okay, the size and the, the, the drill shape, the artist, the name of the painting and the company. So I started this book. I have a very long way to go. This is what I have so far. Do you guys remember this one? I tried doing it by Mary's Diamonds. I threw in the white flag, gave up because of all the popping and it wasn't bringing me any joy. I threw it out. I reached out to them and before they sold it to Bella Art Diamonds, uh, they had shipped me a new one and I believe they said with upgraded drills, I believe with resin drills. So I still have the upgraded one um, and I do plan on doing that one. I actually want to give it away to a friend. And then you guys, I never unboxed it, but this is this one I did do. Um, I showed you the seven canvases that I bought from Diamond Painting Deutschland, and this was one of them. Um, it's from Diamond Painting Deutschland. It's Pirate Skull by Ann Stokes, 60 by 85 round drill. You've seen this one. I unboxed it. Oraloa Domtus de Lion by Laura Philippon, and it's round drill. You've guys seen this one, Common Canvas Designs. This one's going to be gorgeous, too. Cosmic City by G. G Gianna Carlo Landini, 50 by 65 square, which we all know I love their squares now. Oraloa the Legend, Rosalina. Um, I just unboxed one from Rosalina, the Steampunk. I really love her art. Uh, 50 by 75 round drill. Um, and then you guys saw the DIY Moon Shop. Uh, Yumiko by Margaret Morales, 50 by 65 round drill. Got a lot of round drills, huh? Craftably, Bluebird's Home Sweet Home by Cynthia Frenetti, 51 by 36 round drill. So that's all I have so far, okay? Um, so I have quite a few to go. Now, what I decided to do was I got these and I was going to separate them by company and then and within it also by drill so like it would be like oraloa squares oraloa rounds you know um common canvas 
design squares, common canvas design rounds, and so on and so forth. Um, and then that's how I would be able to do a quick search for my diamond paintings. Now, what I'm doing is, is I'm taking photos from the internet. Um, actually, the Bluebird, let me show you the Bluebird. This one, I took a photo right off the box with my camera. And I take, I'm taking them into a collage and I'm making them really small. And I'm printing up eight per page. So that's why there's only eight here. I believe it's eight. Um, and then I'm gluing it on a page and then I'm just writing down the important things to me, which again is the company, the name of the canvas, the artist, the size, and the drills. Um, and that's all the information because when I go to pick one, those are the things I'm going to look at. I'm going to look at uh, the size, the drill shape to see if, you know, if it's time for a round, um, if I'm looking for a larger one, a smaller one, whatever the case may be. So I got extra paper, but as you can see, there's no room for extra paper in this. So I would need to buy another blank um, or empty book. This is, I believe, um, let me see. So I believe it's an A6. Yeah, A6. Um, so I, I didn't want an A5. I didn't feel like I needed that much space. I could have even gone smaller, I guess, if they even have smaller. But I like the size, one per page. And yeah, that is how I'm going to keep track of my stash. I need to catch it up. So I told myself I'm not going to buy anything until I totally fill this out and I see where I'm at because I have zero clues on how many I have. Um, and no, I probably will never do a stash video. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's all the things. So again, Leopard Leatherworks, check them out. They'll be linked below. We got 20 new diamond painting trays. Um, so 20 diamond painting trays. This book, which I didn't open with you, but the refill paper that I don't and can't use. And then the tabs that I'm going to be using in here, my A2 light pad. That's what I got for you guys. Oh no, my diamond, um, my glue dots. My glue dots that were open. I can't even pick this up. My glue dots. That might be too big, but we can cut them down. No problem. It's not a big deal. Okay, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimbo's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.